The death investigation of Malaysia Booker, a transgender woman, casting a shadow today over Dallas Pride this weekend, and some are weighing in on safety concerns in this city. CBS 11's Yona Gavino now live at Dallas Police Headquarters with more on this story. Yona. Steve, several people I talked to at the festival today shared concerns, and they are worried and hoping that something can be done. For members of the LGBTQ community, it was a day of empowerment and encouragement. Don't be afraid to be who you are, and um, if you really love that person, you'd, you'd accept them for who they are. Jesse Orpeza shared his reason for being here. I just like the fact that everybody's spreading positive vibes pretty much. You know, it's just, you can feel comfortable being here. It's kind of like you're in, within your own home. Usually celebrated in Cedar Springs and Oak Lawn, this year, the Pride Parade was moved to a bigger venue at Fair Park. I guess this is the first year here, and it's cute, and I understand why they would put it at Fair Park. And there's so many people coming from all around the country to Pride. Kiara Johnson flew in from Miami just for this event. I feel really, really good. It's inspiring to see all of these young people living their true, being who they are, living authentically. And that's what Pride's about. You know, it's about loving everyone and, you know, being proud of who you are. She also shared her concerns over the unsolved attacks on transgender women, specifically Malaysia Booker. She was found shot to death over a week ago, her death happening one month after a video showed Booker getting beaten as a crowd watched. It's just sad. It's so many trans, especially African American trans women, um, things happening to them, and it's because they don't have the means. Everyone just needs to love each other. It's sad. Like, I, I have no words for it because it's literally sick. And Booker's murder remains unsolved. So far, Dallas police say there have been no arrests in these cases. Live in Dallas, Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News. Okay.